Andy Mogul. Hey, Andy Moguls. It's Monday. That means a new episode of Backyard Effects with me, your host, Zach Finfrock. On today's episode, we're doing a new camera rig called a fig rig. So on Backyard Effects, we've shown you how to make Steadicams before. And for the small fraction of you who don't know what a Steadicam is, it's a rig that you put your camera onto that saves it from all the shakiness if you're doing handheld. Hence the name of Steadicam. Now a fig rig is basically a steering wheel that has the camera in the middle of it. It may not sound like something that might work, but it does, trust me. In fact, we're using it right now. It works so well, people are willing to pay $300 for a professional one. I'm gonna show you how to make it for a fraction of the cost. Hey Puppet Zach, why don't we shave a zero off of that $300? You're not even letting me do my job, man. Three quarters inch PVC pipe, 45 degree angle PVC pipe connectors, T-shaped PVC pipe, a cross PVC pipe, two end caps for the PVC, two quarter inch nuts, one quarter inch washer, a quarter inch butterfly nut, quarter inch bolt, lawnmower grip, PVC cement, a hacksaw, and a power drill. This build's difficulty level is five. Simple time now. Woo! First, you're gonna need to measure the PVC pipe for the specific lengths of the fig rig itself. What you're gonna need is six six inch pieces, two three inch pieces, four two and a half inch pieces, and four one and a half inch pieces. The first thing you wanna do once all your pieces are cut is assemble the fig rig itself. Putting it together is pretty self-explanatory. The six inch pieces on the outside, the T-shapes in the bottom right and left hand corners, followed by the cross assembly in the middle. For the bolt itself to hold the camera on, you're going to want to drill a hole into one of the end caps, then take the quarter inch bolt, screw one of the nuts about halfway down, feed it through the hole in the end cap, screw the other quarter inch bolt down the end of the bolt itself, put the butterfly nut on, the washer, and then you're set. Then you just start assembling. Once you make sure all the pieces are the right size, you have to disassemble it and then start the cementing process. First, you need to put down a primer. You have to put it on the outside of all the PVC pipes and on the inside of all the PVC connecting pieces. Once that's all dry, you take the PVC cement, put it on top of the primer itself, and then put the pieces together. You have to do this quickly, otherwise the cement itself is going to dry. In fact, it's basically melting the plastics of the PVCs together. The last part of this PVC rig when I was putting it together was the hardest. I literally had to put all of my strength into putting these two pieces together. It would probably be beneficial if you had a friend help you out with this part. Just for the look of mine, I decided to spray paint mine black. Feel free to do any color you want, it doesn't really matter. Next you want to take the lawnmower grip, cut them to size for the right and left sides of the fig rig itself, and go ahead and put them on. The ones I bought had built-in glue slash tape on the inside, so I didn't have to worry about gluing it on. The last thing you want to do is assemble the camera onto the rig itself, and you're set. If you want to spend a little extra cash, maybe get a footplate assembly for the rig itself so it's a lot easier to take the camera on and off, or maybe a shotgun mic clamp to put on top of the rig so it's all in one nice little package. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow on Tuesday for our epic one-shot test film. The entire thing, a single take, using the Steadicam rig. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the entire episode, and I'll see you next week. When filming a movie, you must always have a to-do list. This may seem kind of basic, but if you don't have one, your movie will die a slow and painful death.